Hello world! Today, I'll go through the basic options of the Ultimate Slider. Like always, our plugins enable you to customize through custom CSS. It is no different for the Ultimate Slider. The Autoplay options are settings that will allow you to enable the autoplay of the slider. This way, your customers will be able to view your sliders comfortably. The autoplay delay is a setting that takes an integer value, which then will be used as the time in seconds to wait before the autoplay begins. Therefore, if set to 6, the user will wait 6 seconds before the autoplay begins. The autoplay interval setting takes an integer value, which will be used as the time in seconds to wait between each slide. Therefore, if set to 1, the user will wait one second in between each slide before they change. This option allows you to set the transition time of the slide. In other words, how many seconds it should take for each slide to change. By default, your slider will be set to a 16 to 7 ratio. However, you may change the slider's ratio to your preference by choosing the aspect ratio of your choice in the drop-down menu. For example, if you choose 1 by 1, the slider will be a square. If you do not want the slider to appear as one slide at a time, but multiple components, then you're possibly searching for the carousel mode. This will display multiple slides in one. You may set the number of columns or slides displayed within the carousel. Each slide may be linked to a full post through carousel link to full post. And finally, you may set how you want the carousel to advance, either the full length or by one slide. The Editor Helper is a short code builder. Instead of writing your short codes manually, you may set the option to yes and utilize the button when creating or editing a page. The timer bar is a colored bar displayed either on top or bottom of your slider. It serves as an indicator of how much time into the transition time you are in. The slide indicator is simply to let your customers view at which slide you are into. You may choose to indicate them as dots, thumbnails, or decide not to display them at all. If your slider contains buttons, the links may direct you in three ways. New window, the same window, or smart, which will display on the same window if the link is on the same website, or open a new window if the link is on a different website. 